Good morning, welcome to St Francis Church. Hopefully it's Thursday the 10th of March where you are, because that's what I think it is here. Let's have a moment. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And so we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. So let us come to the Lord, who is full of compassion, and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. And we say, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought, word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect, let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are yet without sin, give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit, and as you know our weakness, may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now, and for ever. Amen. So we come to our first reading. And the readings taken from Isaiah chapter 55, verses 6 to 9. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord, and he will have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord is a great God. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. 
but everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Father, we thank you for your word. Touch us, we pray, by your spirit. Amen. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. And that concludes the sermon. Really, what more is there to say? Seek the Lord and he shall be found. Ask and you shall receive. And when you look at that wonderful passage, ask and you will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Is there a man amongst you who'd offer his son? Dot, dot, dot. For man being scuzzy gives his kids good things. Man being wicked and evil still gives good things to their kids. Man being wicked and evil bombs a maternity home and a hospital. And today the press is filled with such awful rhetoric against Vladimir Putin being a beast, being a devil, being a demon. But he's not. That's just who he works for. But you know, the problem is now they're saying, oh, we're a bit worried because he's been using hyperbaric weapons. Yes, we know that. And you can only use them according to the law of armed conflict in certain conditions and situations, not in the middle of people, not in the way they apparently have been. And to know Mr. Putin is becoming the world's greatest evangelist. For people are saying, where is God? We need God to do something. Actually, I'd just stop at we need God and leave it up to God to do the stuff. And God will act. The trouble is he won't act in the time scale and the way we wish. America won't act in the time scale and the way we wish in saying to Poland, don't give them your aeroplanes. You know, everybody knows what God should do. Everyone knows what God should give them. But no one knows what we should give God, and that's our praise, our love, our worship, our obedience. We don't say to the wicked, stop what you're doing and seek the Lord. We say, just stop what you're doing. You're doing it in your own strength, stop in your own strength. Oh, but they would, but actually the mind of all humanity is cruel, wicked and evil. The mind of some is far beyond that. So what are you going to do today? Are you going to ask God for good things? Every day I thank God that he's given me life for another day. Every day I thank God for lives that I meet that are old, that are reaching the other end of the scale, but they continue. Every day I thank God for people who understand who God is and seek to serve him. You know, Russia and Ukraine are bringing to the forefront good and evil. And yet knowing what evil is, we still don't seek good. Knowing what evil is, we say, oh, why doesn't this God that we don't believe in do something? Well, God is. God is slowly changing the hearts and minds of people in Russian uniform, apparently more and more seem to be losing the will to fight. They're looking and saying, I know this is wrong. Justice, mercy, humility. That's what the Lord asks of us. 
that we do those things, and that we serve God with all our heart, all our mind, all our strength, and everything we have. So today, as you turn around and say, why doesn't God do something? Ask yourself, if I can ask God that question, why don't I say to God, you are my God? Why don't I say to God, I believe in you? I must believe in you because I've been talking to you. And if you believe there's a God to talk to, then why don't you believe there's a God who's redeemed you? And you know what? Here's the answer to it all. Why doesn't God do something? The answer is he has. Jesus went to the cross, died, rose, and has ascended. The Holy Spirit is within us, empowering us. God has done it all. The end game is finished. We're just mucking up the middle bit. So, Edmund Burke, evil happens when good people fail to act. Jesus, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbour as yourself. So, we're we going to open our doors to Ukrainian citizens. We're we going to open our country to Ukrainian citizens. Because apparently it's not as easy as that. We need to be very, very careful and cautious lest anyone unsavoury gets in. Blimey, have you seen what lives on our island at the moment when it comes to unsavoury? My goodness me. So guys, today it's very easy. Ask, seek, you will find, you will be given. Turn from your sins. And as you ask God to do something, when you proclaim, why doesn't God do something? Listen, because you'll hear the words... I'm waiting for you too. Jesus has given us eternal life. We've just got to make the life between here and then much more palatable, much more honest, and most of all, much more caring and loving. Easy really, wasn't it, this morning? Just read the words of the readings. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have already answered the needs of the world in Jesus and if your people, if those who follow you, who proclaim love for you through the resurrection of the Christ and live by the power of the Spirit would only act, if they would only stand outside Parliament and say, we're not going to vote for you next time if you don't do the right thing now. If we'd have stood outside McDonald's and KFC and Starbucks and wherever, and said, we're not going to buy your rotten products until you stop feeding and supplying people whose nation is wrong. And they've done it now because they're frightened of losing the Western world's money. If only the love of God was as influential as the pound, the dollar, the yen, the ruble and other things. Lord, touch and heal us, we pray. Amen. And so we come to a time of prayer. Holy Father, we come before you this morning to seek your will, to seek your face, to knock on the door and ask you to answer our prayers. And we do it knowing that you are a God who listens, that you are a God who cares, and that you are a God who acts. So help us this morning to pray in accordance with your will, to know that you will look after your children, that you will move and be active on the behalf of the innocent. And Lord, move our hearts to be like you in our thoughts, in our prayers, and in our actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Father, as we pray for the situation in Ukraine, we pray for the residents of Kiev, Kharkiv, Mariupol, 
the other cities that are surrounded in danger of being cut off, in danger of starvation. We pray for those whose lives have been completely devastated by this war. We pray for the innocents who are caught in the middle of it. We thank you for the students from Sumi who were able to get out of that city, but we pray for those who are still trapped, for those who are still under bombardment, for those who are still living in their basements, unable to find the basic necessities of life. Lord, we can't begin to understand what they are going through. But you do, you know, you see. We pray for your comfort and your provision, Lord. We pray for the will on behalf of the rest of the world to come to the aid of Ukraine. But Lord, while we pray for Ukraine, we are aware that there are so many other places in the world where the same things have happened without the same level of outcry. In Syria, the Russians bombed hospitals. The Russians did exactly what they're doing in Ukraine. And the world allowed it to continue. Father, we pray that this time there would be the will, the determination to say no more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the residents of Russia who are not in support of this war. We pray for those who lived through the Soviet regime who are leaving Russia because they can see the clock turning back. We pray for the soldiers who have been sent into war without realising that that's what they were doing. We pray for those who have laid down their arms and refused to fight. We pray that others would follow their example. We pray that the Russian military leaders more and more would see the wrong of what is being done, would refuse to commit war crimes on behalf of their government. Lord, we pray that Russia itself would bring an end to this war and an end to the regime that has perpetrated such evils so many times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Are the closer to home we pray for our own nation, for our response to the refugee crisis, this latest refugee crisis. Again, it's not the first. It's not the only time that people have been displaced from their homes and we have failed to open our doors, open our borders and provide a safe place. Father, we pray that there would be a change in our government in their attitudes and while we understand that there are other factors at work we pray that compassion and care would be the overriding principles Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Father we pray for those who are struggling in our country and around the world because of rising costs, because of the cost of this war in terms of fuel and energy. Lord, we pray for those who were already struggling to feed their families and heat their homes and now are facing even greater pressure. We pray for those who were coping before but now or not. Lord, we pray that the resources of our world would not be used 
the resources of your world would not be used as a weapon of war. The people's lives would not be treated so cheaply. But we pray that we would have the resolve to suffer for the sake of freedom, the freedom of Ukraine and the freedom of other peoples. That the ways of this world would be challenged and would be changed. And that we would do what we can individually in changing how we live. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those we know who are ill today. We pray for Maureen Chambers and her family as they suffer from COVID. We pray for all who are recently infected. We pray that their symptoms would be mild and their illness would not be severe. We pray for those who are still suffering the effects of COVID, for Emma Cooley, for Leah and Kev, for those we know whose lives have been changed because of this virus or because of other illnesses, for those who live with chronic fatigue and other chronic illnesses as a result of viral infections in the past for those who have had to change the way they live and adapt to a new way of living because of illness. We pray for the wisdom to be able to do that, for the strength, for the patience, for themselves and for those around them to understand. Lord, we pray for those who suffer with other illnesses, with motor neurone disease, with cancers, with dementia, with other debilitating and life-changing conditions. We pray for those who are awaiting surgery, awaiting transplants. We pray for those who are recovering from recent surgery or recent therapies, that their recovery will be thorough and complete. Lord, we pray for all who need something today to change in their lives, something today to help them get through today, that they would turn to you and Lord, that you would use us as the signpost to help them find you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who mourn, those who have lost loved ones, those who are remembering today because of anniversaries or special events, loved ones who may have gone some time ago, those who will today just feel that moment of renewed grief as a memory triggers and the loss is felt again. We pray for those whose loss is more recent, for whom the grief is still very raw. Lord, we pray for your comfort. We pray for people to come alongside, to just be your hands your arms enfolding them. Lord, we pray that as we go about our daily routines, we will be conscious and aware of those around us who are hurting. And we will be that still calm presence that brings peace, that brings comfort, that brings a reassurance that life will not always be this way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. So we offer one another a sign of peace here, and I can't get that one, it's that and that. A rainbow, a rainbow and that. That's peace be with you, apparently. So there you go. Do a rainbow and do that. Peace be with you. That's much better than some of the other things I've tried to do. And as we break bread and wine is poured, be nice if we remember those that we know perhaps in the conflict at the moment and those that we don't just thinking of our brothers and sisters for here we are the Lord is here his spirit is with us lift up your hearts we lift them to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give thanks and praise it is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For in these 40 days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer and acts of service you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom and with this bread and this cup we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. For great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Through him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. 
Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord God, you have renewed us with the living bread from heaven. By it you nourish our faith, increase our hope, and strengthen our love. Teach us always to hunger for him who is the true and living bread, and enable us to live by every word that proceeds from out of your mouth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God, who from the death of sin raised you to new life in Christ, keep you from falling and set you in the presence of his glory and the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love now and always. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Anything we can do, you know where we are, give us a shout. Bye for now. Thanks.